this is a great opportunity for the community and advantage for this technology are several. Integration of imaging with procedural techniques is important. The world has never been more connected than it is today. And the technical strides that have been made in the last two decades are enormous. And think about the global coronavirus, how it has taught us a lot more to be more effective and efficient to use the technology. Imagine if we can harness this technology and innovation to improve healthcare. Today, endovascular robotics is about precision, protection, and standardization of procedures. And those pillars will remain fundamental to our mission. I can see four potential areas that stands out for me. Expanding access to care through remote uh, procedures. Two, reducing variation through advanced automation. Three, looking for a pure opportunity to improve procedure workflow and in-room efficiency. And fourth, reduce the operator fatigue and radiation exposure. I can see that it's a difficult question, but the development of work in telerobotics is well underway. And the core path uh, when it comes to vascular robotic technology has already been used in cardiology and PCI procedures although in experimental settings. So the most important question, I think, is when can it be implemented in the clinics? Additionally, to the clean investment, one can expect that different platforms are needed, which will add cost. So in the end, hospitals need to invest in more platforms because it differs among the specialties. But in some areas, I think uh, the interdisciplinary approach of the robotic system should be possible. In my eyes, I think the robotic technology will in future revolutionize the market. Unfortunately, there are still technical obstacles needed to be solved. It is remarkable how precise the technique is already today to hit the vessels and how well can standardize the procedures in this minimal invasive way. The quality of visualization is already excellent. So, in my humble opinion, people may also enhance their capabilities by using this technology. Research shows that you can show transferability of technical skills into the Angus suite with the robotic system. This will enable the entire team to go through the potential complications that might happen and enables the team to experience that real case and the real data before the patient comes onto the table. With AI tools added to this, you will be advised on how and how you could be supported with choices of the tool armatorial. So in this way, the sequence to let the sim talk to the robotic work in real life is very obvious and all done on the Angus Suite platform, depending on the specific vendors. Mm -hmm.